ruler of death. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of death. The worker's face will turn white as if he just saw a ghost. He will then guide you to a wooden door and leave you afterward. You will have to knock thrice. Should you hear an old man saying, Come, you may enter and you will find yourself in a forest. If you hear a young man saying, No, thank you. Then run. Run and leave the city, the country, as fast as you can, for unspoken evil will haunt you should you stay. Now that you are in a forest, look up to the sky. If it is day, follow the sun. If it is night, follow the moon. Follow them, and do not leave the path you have taken, no matter what kinds of beauty or horror you might see. Should you ever leave the path, your soul will be tormented for eternity after the body has died a horrible death. You will, after some time, notice that you are walking to a mansion. Ignore it. Keep walking, for it is an illusion made to confuse you. Finally, you will reach a small wooden hut. Enter the hut and immediately turn around should you desire to ever live. Unless you believe you can survive the sheer horror you will experience by looking at the man who now is behind you. Ask him the question. What will end them? He will begin to talk with a voice that is gentle and kind as well as brutal and deadly. Listen carefully to what he says, as you might soon be the only one knowing their destiny. As soon as the man finishes his small tale, he will ask you to turn around, as he wants to give you a gift. Do not do this. Instead, walk backwards until you reach something hard, a desk. Close your eyes and partially turn your body so you can reach out to the man and take the gift. When it touches your hand, close it and walk back to the door you came from. As you open it, say the words, We will meet another day, and walk out. You will be back in the mental institution. Now, Open your hand and look at the gift. The bone finger is object 12 of 538. 